Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little Antis and I have back to the tower pronto. What's up everyone? This is Alfie. We've just lost gas at the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man Jeff up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station.
Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisense did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He was... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antisense. Just the 
Rice's people are everywhere. I just saw some of them in a tunnel near the lake. Couldn't tell exactly what they were doing, but they looked pretty busy.
price takes everything away. Hey, have you seen that house with the red smoke pouring out of it? If Rise's people spot it, they're gonna come knocking on his door. Someone ought to warn him. Look, I've got enough trouble right now, but I'll think about it. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Haran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it, but I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. Crane, the man who got the power back on. Take this. Sorry if I'm not sounding too grateful, but I'm having a piece of shite day, you know? Anything I can help with? Yes, but Brecken won't authorize it. Too risky, he says. Yeah, well, is it something we need? Okay. Brecken says we need better security at night. Too many nocturnals on our doorstep, right? So I've put together a new light rig using these big 10 kilowatt UV lamps. It's massive. Turn it on, it'll torch a volatile at 200 feet. It would be fucking nuclear. But the UV bulbs to run it are stuck in the towers of the Infamy Bridge. The bridge? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the Infamy Firewall? Sure. Biggest UV lamps in the hemisphere. Alfie, that system didn't work. It was a disaster. I mean, when it failed, they had to destroy the bridge. Well, it wouldn't have failed if they hadn't lost power. And when you restarted those substations, the system came back online. You can see it at night now. So you need someone to get the bulbs? Sure, sure. But here's the thing. Some of the bulbs have burned out, right? They're no good. So the only way to tell which ones still work is to collect them when the system is powered on. Another night run. Getting in wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, but once you remove the working bulbs... You'll be on a pitch black bridge with a whole bunch of problems. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. Forget I mentioned it. But it's a damn shame. Hey, I saw your notice on the bulletin board. Uh, you're a runner. Excellent. That idiot that would sat on my glasses in the canteen and I'm blind as a bat. <laughs> How can I help Alfie if I can't see anything? I've got a backup pair at my place. It's not far away. It's, you know, I can't get there myself. You need anything else while I'm there? Oh my god, you'll do this for me? Thank you. Oh, and um, one more thing. See. 
We're going to start a vegetable garden on the roof, you know, so we can maybe not starve to death. But nobody here really knows how to do it. On my birthday, I, I got a book on gardening. I never read it. It's growing vegetables for dum-dums or something like that. It should be on a bookcase, but, you know, you might have to look around for it. What's up? You know Jafar, right? The one from the garage? He's looking for a good runner. For what? He wouldn't talk about it on the radio. I think it's something important. Hmm. Okay. Come here. I've got a special deal for you. find better stuff anywhere else. Who is this? This is Tolga. And Fatih. We work for Mr. Dahl, and we are ready to put you to task. Get here on the double. Make it quick. Hey, that's rude. Tolga, don't, don't talk to me like that. Shut up, Fatih. Get off the radio. You're going to make him mad, you idiot. Stop talking or I will punch you. Punch me? I'll kill you. Idiosyncratic, great. on you to help them out. You want Anderson? Forget about the drops. Thank <sighs> you. 
Hey, you want to try calming down long enough to tell me what's wrong? Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Calming down will work. Yeah, calming down will solve everything. Oh. No, walking away from you will solve everything. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm chill. I'm chill, bro. So, I make these flares for a rise, right? Wait, flares? Like, like signal flares? No, no, UV flares. Like flares that the night things can't stand because they put out this UV, which stands for ultraviolet, which is like kind of a science thing. I got it. UV flares. Continue. There is no continue. My zinc is contaminated with fluorine. It's useless. Also, I'm out of turpentine, which isn't that hard to find. Except everything's hard to find right now. So when Rice's people come for their merchandise... Oh, is he using people now? I thought he only used hired psychopathic gorillas. What do you need to make these things? Just zinc and turpentine, bro. I got the rest. Worst part is everything I need is in the train yard warehouses. But a guy like me isn't going to last ten seconds out there. Well, I'm surprised a guy like you's lasted that long in here. Oh, the, oh, that's very funny. Ha ha, very funny, funny man. Look, maybe I'll get your supplies, but if I do, whatever you can make out of them, I take half. Half? No way. You're freaking nuts, bro. Look, you can give me half of something, or you can keep 100% of nothing. Half it is. It seems fair. Hey, you been looking for a runner? Well, we're looking for one who will say yes instead of no. Jafar can fill you in. Are you Tolga and Fatin? Yes. How did you surmise that? Who cares how his ape brain processes information? We have a job for him. Quite right, Tolga. Remember, simple words only. Don't confuse him. We need to move some equipment across town. It's very heavy. How heavy? <laughs> Too heavy for you, Simeon Beast. Instead, we will propel it across the sky using heavy gauge zip lines. A brilliant idea, don't you think? That was my idea. No, it wasn't. Just tell me what you need. <sighs> well, hooks, obviously. How else can we hang the equipment off the lines? You will find them at the train yard warehouses. Does he know what a warehouse is? Probably not. Look it up, but be quick about it. This project is far more important than anything your proto-human cranial cogitator is capable of understanding. And don't try to figure out what it is. Oh, heavens no! <laughs> You'd give yourself an aneurysm. Ah, we have employed a gorilla to do it. Do you mean an orangutan's job? What are you saying? But do you think Dr. Zeus is smarter than Cornelius? Oh, yes, obviously. Orangutans were the smartest. Cornelius didn't even have a PhD. Ah, but he knew the truth of ape origin. So did Dr. Zeus, but he knew that the knowledge was useless. Your knowledge is useless. Ah, one day I will kill you. It's you again? I mean, uh, what are you doing here? Relax, relax. I don't work for Rice. That was a one-time job, and it was all about protecting the tower. Look, I'm sorry. I mean it. Is that right? Look, everything I was doing, I was doing for Brecken. You can ask anyone in the tower if you don't believe me. So what do you got, Jafar? We've been picking up some of Rice's transmissions. One of his crews found something at the construction site, and they got very excited. They didn't say what it was, but they referred to bringing down the entire tower in one shot. Someone's got to find out what it is, and either confiscate it or destroy it. Well, I'm someone. Congratulations. The job is yours. We'll be in touch.
Crane? You're Crane, right? Kyle Crane? Yeah. Erwin Snowberg, movie director. I make the Zombie Annihilation movie series. Yeah, you've probably seen them. Uh, no. Yeah, they're thought-provoking meditations about people very much like yourself who have to kill buttloads of zombies for various reasons. The details really aren't important. What is important is production cost. Makeup is a major factor. I'm talking head rot, arms falling off, guts hanging out. And when you blow them apart with guns, those squibs cost like crazy. So you've come to Haran. It's a tragedy, of course, but there's a fortune in special effects shambling through the streets, just waiting to have their heads blown off for my next movie, Zombie Annihilation 4, Dying Lunch. <laughs> All I need is a gun nut who can drop in spectacular numbers, and I am told you are just such a man.
This is the Fort Jefferson Tower, and you will address me as Commander Jeff. I make the rules here, is that clear? Not Brecken, not Rice. This is Jeffville, or Jeff Land, or Jeffertown, or New Jeff City. Look, Jeff. Commander Jeff! There's an emergency. The gas is out all over the city. Oh, yeah. That... that was me. But you shut off the gas? Installation of the Fort Jefferson Apocalypse Wall required a temporary interruption of the civilian gas supply. But I'm all ready now, so you can turn it back on. I think that's going to be your job. No can do. I'm too critical to base operations. We'll have to send someone who's expendable. <clears throat> Commander, I'd like to volunteer. You're a good man, whoever you said you are. I hate to lose you. Now. Go open the quadrant allocation valves, plus the primary distribution gate. Then report back to me, and I'll restore the city main pressure here. Hey! If you don't get killed, you can be the first civilian to witness my apocalypse wall. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're just fucking with me. Back away. This doesn't concern you. <laughs>
All right, I opened the local valves plus the primary gate. Uh-huh, what about the ballast lines? Wait, the, the what? Commander. This ain't the Navy, son. Drink some coffee and sober up.
Well done, soldier. I'll open the main pressure gate. Then prepare your eyes for a feast of controlled pyro combustion. Now, I think I should watch this from a distance. If you insist, you got ten seconds. Found Jeff, and the gas is back on. That's a relief. Tell you, he's irreplaceable. Yeah, well, I'm afraid you're gonna have to find a replacement. <laughs>
Tears in my eyes. That was the most moving display of senseless slaughter I have ever witnessed. You, sir, are an artist. I'm gonna be setting up my next shot soon, so make sure you're around, okay? Oof. 